such a beautiful fall morning. Hey, sun is shining. It's kind of crisp and cold. There's crunchy leaves on the ground. It's a good day. I'm so excited to get together with you guys. We're going to continue with our um, transportation theme. So last week we did airplanes. And today we're going to be talking about water and how you move around and get around in the water. Who knows? Well, do you drive your car in the water? No. Do you roller skate in the water? No. Do you ride your bike in the water? What kind of transportation do you need to move around in the water? Who could tell me? Boat! Yes! Yeah. So we're going to have a story today about boats. For the craft, we are making jello cups with their ocean cups. And look at the water is kind of jiggly. Look at the fish jumping around when I wiggle it. So what we need is a mixing bowl, measuring cup, and a fork or whisk and um, some cold water, hot water, and we need the jello and the ocean pebbles and our fish and octopus candies, okay? So what we're gonna have to have help with our parents for this one because it's hot water and I don't want the kids to burn themselves. But what the kids can do is they can dump the blue jello. And if you're using like a jello box or something, just follow the instructions. But this amount is for one third cup of hot water and one third cup of cold water. So if you're gonna put them together, you'd use two thirds. So kiddos, if you wanna pour the blue powder into a bowl, and have that ready. And we'll get the parents to pour a third of a cup of hot water. So just be careful because it's hot. The parent can pour. And if the kids are careful, you can take your fork and stir. Just don't let it splash because it's hot, okay? So we're going to stir until it's all dissolved. We don't want to see any of that like blue sand powder stuff. We want it to all dissolve. So stir, stir, stir. Oh, it smells good. Mmm. Now, once it's dissolved, we are going to add our cold water. So again, a third of a cup of cold water. And pour it in and stir. Get it good and mixed. And now, kiddos, you can take your cup and we are going to put the ocean pebbles in the bottom of the cup, okay? So. Pour them in. And when you're putting your candy rocks in the bottom of your cup, maybe if no one's looking, you can lick your finger and dip it and get one stuck to your finger and try them. Mmm, yummy your pebbles. Do you guys all have your rocks in your cup? Can you show me? Then now this is the parent's job again, is we're gonna have to pour this jello mixture over the rock. So I'm gonna put a cloth down because last time I did this, I spilled it. And it's gonna make the rocks float a little bit, but you could kind of push them down. Ooh. There we go. So we've got our ocean floor 
And see, I don't really like that the rocks went up so high. So I'm just gonna, with my fork, push them down a little bit. And now the hard part is we have to wait for this to cool off. I'll show you my finished one. And I just take a fork just to kind of separate it from the cup a little bit. And then I'm gonna shove my octopus in the cup. The cup's a little bit narrow at the top. So there, I got an octopus. Oh, sorry, the reflection there. And you can stick some fish in as many as you want. You can put them on the top like I did, or you can poke them in the water. There, see? So you can decorate your ocean with your uh, fish and octopuses. And then you've got a fun afternoon snack to eat. Are you guys excited to try it out later this afternoon? So now we have to put it in the fridge and practice patience. And now since we still have a, a couple minutes, I'm gonna show you the boat picture. And you guys can work on this all during the day. You don't have to get this done to right now. But we're gonna color water. And with the book, remember the illustrator used all kind of lines to make textures in the water. So you guys could try to do the same thing in the water. You could do it in the sky. Just we're gonna color water and sky. And you can choose what weather you want to do, like from the pirate song. Do you want it to be a rainy water day or do you want it to be a windy day and you can draw lines with swirls or a sunny day? Or maybe you can even draw snow. But I picked a sunny day. So I'm going to show you guys. We're going to take a piece of construction paper and just cut out half a circle. Okay. And while the mom or dad is cutting out the circle, the kids could start coloring their piece of paper. And I'm just gonna quickly move ahead and just show you how to do the sail. I really like that the sail actually looks like it's blowing in the wind. You guys see that? So once you have your pit, just pretend my picture is drawn, you're going to make a line for the sailboat's post. And then draw some glue by the post. And Cut a triangle out of the tissue paper and stick it on like this. So it's like a flap. And then we're going to put one more dab of glue farther down. And can you guys see? Just going to bend it over and tap the glue down so that it does the bubble. That's how you do the sail once you're done coloring. But now that you know how to finish it, you guys can start coloring with different colors, be creative. And remember the, how the illustrator or the artist worked in the book, you could use some of those ideas. So if you wanted to make wind to blow your sail, you can draw a line and make the curls just like the, the book did. Pretty wind blowing. So I drew some water, I glued my boat on, and then I did the sail. Hope you guys can go outside and enjoy the fall Christmas. And one of our home activities we thought would be great to help keep our water clean 
is as a family, you take a garbage bag and go for a walk along the river valley or along, if there's a lake close to your house, and go for a walk and pick up garbage because that helps our ducks and all the animals that live in our rivers and lakes. Well, we're going to say goodbye and we will see you next week, okay? Thank you.